adding a shipping table, step two, shipping range. Under portal admin, under shipping manager, click on step two, shipping range. Shipping ranges are built into the system for you to enter from this range to this range into the system. So for example, I have a very small shipping matrix here that I'm going to use uh, from 0 0.001 to 20 pounds in weight will cost this much. So I need to get all of my weights in. So these are my ranges. So as you can see, I already have one in here, but it is turned off. So I'm gonna turn that one on by clicking on the false and turning it to true. The next one that I need to add is 20.01 pounds to 50. So that I don't have in here. I'm actually going to name it exactly what the range is. You could name it whatever you wanted, but I'm going to name it what the range is. And then I'm going to put in from what pounds to what pounds. And this can be done in total, as in dollar amounts on your SKU, or you can do it in weight. In this example, I'm doing it in weights. And then I'm going to add. And I will continue adding the rest of them. So the next one is 50 to 100. So 50, a oh, one, two, 100. This will be 50, a oh, one, this will be 100. And add. The next one is 100 to 150. And there you have it. For my small example of a shipping matrix or shipping table, I needed to have these weights in and these costs. I now have the weights in because that is building a shipping range.